If the invert and 50% transparency trick doesn't work in your edit software, try a blending mode like Difference. Well, that's it, you can watch another video. Here's the long version with a lot of redundant information and some ranting. Hello. Um, Luke, new chair. The seat of my very expensive, though eight year old chair broke. Replacing it is the price of a chair. And since the back also has cracks, I now have this one until I decide what to do. I'll probably get a second hand one. And don't forget to take the wheels of your expensive chair. You might be able to use them on the cheap chair. Anyway, today's lazy video is a tutorial on how to do the motion extraction effect. Looks like I underestimated how many people wanted to try that. I'm using DaVinci Resolve for it and that's how I left the effect. Here we go. An unprepared I have a video file here. Mm -hmm. I import it in Resolve and then you can guess what I am getting from the shelves here. Well, maybe that wasn't so difficult to guess, but let's motion extract this so we can see it better. I click this thingy here that unlinks the audio and video, then I hold alt, drag this one up and I've got myself a duplicate. Yes. Mm -hmm. What I should do also is start at the right time. Um, I'm using some shortcuts. <laughs> And now I'm going to uh, freeze frame this one. And then I'm going to the color tab. And I have the uh, effects library here and I press search and I type invert. There it's already. And I drag it onto this node and it's inverted. And that means if I now here change the transparency to 50, then uh, we don't see anything until we press play. Let's see, what did I take? Huh. As I told you, not really a surprise. <laughs> you can even see the light change, nice, right? So that's the raw effect of the freeze frame version. And what I can do now, I can go to effects and drag an adjustment clip on top of that. Go to the color tab and then alter the image using curves, for example. And I can check here if things are clipping or not. Ooh. Well, and then for example, I can let it look like this. And yeah, you can do anything you want. I can, for example, uh, this is the glow effect. I can let it glow. Let's do the alt drag thing again with these three clips. And now I make a compound clip of this. Don't give it a name because I'm lazy. Yes. And now I can change the composite mode of this one to, for example, screen. And now the missing thing is glowing. We can't see it really well. Well, then we go to the color tab. We make the picture darker. And there is our glowing, missing bike horn. Well, that's uh, that's the basics. Let's see if we can do this in Adobe Premiere, which I never use anymore. Well, it's going to be difficult not to rent. I have some folder opening thing here. So I click to the folder and then I just get this. Where are my folders? Sorry. Uh, well, that's how you not make it in Premiere. Thanks for watching and I... Sorry, sorry.
Why is this folder selected? What is this? Oh, now Premiere is freezing again. My God. Here's the video file. Which I cannot drag into the timeline. Oh, maybe I can, but Premiere is freezing again. Yeah, I know it's not responding. Let's not drag it into the timeline then, I guess. But here first, into the media pool. And then drag it into the timeline. <sighs> now it's suddenly working. Okay, alt drag. That worked. I'm kind of surprised. Uh -huh. There are the effects. Invert. So here's the invert effect. So theoretically, all I have to do now, again, is change the opacity to 50%. And indeed, it doesn't work right. So Adobe is not properly inverting the image. If it was, this wouldn't happen. So yeah, I... G <laughs> Shame on you, Adobe. One of the reasons I changed from Premiere to Resolve is because color grading shifted the colors all over the place. Let's try something else then. Curves. So this is important. Video effects obsolete RGB curves because the Lumetri curves shift the colors all over the place. So you don't want to use that anyway. But RGB curves are true. So what I can do now is invert the image this way. And maybe now it's actually properly inverted. Let's try again. Capacity 50%. No, it's again not working. Adobe is altering the image in some way. And that's why this is not working. But there's still something else we can do. Let's delete the curves. Let's change the opacity back to 100. And instead use blending mode difference. And now I move this one. And we get a somewhat similar effect. So um, if it doesn't work, you can instead use just a blend mode. And that concludes this tutorial. Thanks for watching and have a lot of fun.